a Punch and Judy booth used in a fashion show. Furthermore, this is no ordinary fashion display. It's the first we've ever heard of where the attraction is swim caps. This cap, by the way, worn by Janice Van Eyre, is appropriately named Trunks. Punch, who in 30 years at seaside resorts with his operator, Percy Press, has seen thousands of unattractive styles, makes an appreciative spectator. For it is only now, for the first time, that decorated caps have been introduced. On the left, Faye Brook wears top notch, while Elizabeth Duke features tassel. These new designs by Kleinert are not merely decorative. All of them are completely watertight, won't come off when diving, for example, and don't drag the hair. This is flowering leaves worn by Penny Spriggs. Another attractive style for the girl who likes to show a fringe without getting her hair wet the fringe or bang attached to the cap is made of permanently curled nylon hair which can be combed and reset to order. False bangs are a boon to some girls, so this style should be popular. After all, they can always cut off the hair and throw the cap away. Most of the new caps are strapless, which does away with the double chin effect that straps often give a girl, or at least some girls. Here's a cap that's so captivating, no doubt some women would wear it for formal occasions. Called Petal, this delicate creation is made of layers of fine rubber petals, each secured with a pearl. Something really feminine, ruffles and bows, a strapless hat with a double frill and bow at the back. Finally, spray, featuring an attractive spray of rubber flowers. You know, at this rate, with swim caps so chic, girls just won't dare to go swimming for fear of getting them wet. Oh. 